What is Charlie doing? Here she is. This is her new 75 gallon tank. Pull out. So you get the feeling of the size. And she just figured out this little corner here. I think she was staring at herself against that glass at the back. I think she caught her reflection. I just fed you. This is all new vegetables, but she hasn't even come over to see it. She has a little bit of green leaf at the bottom. Um, I did cut up some yellow pepper. Sometimes I can get her to eat it, sometimes she doesn't. And then there's some radicchio, which she usually really likes, and parsley, which she usually likes also. Usually is the key word. But she's been being stubborn lately and hardly eating other than her when it's bug day and she obviously eats those. But apparently that's normal for them to go through spouts of not wanting their veg, I guess. So this is Charlie. This is Pat's um, bearded dragon. She is four years old, so she is an adult. Uh, yes, she is on sand, but as I said, she is an adult. If you have babies or young, very young bearded dragons, do not put them on sand because if they ingest it, they can get impacted. But she is basically full grown, so she doesn't have a problem. So all she has is these logs to kind of make a basking spot, but sometimes she doesn't bask on them, sometimes she does. She has been lately since we put her in the 75 gallon. She was sleeping on that until I turned the lights on and woke her up. So there's her heat lamp. And this is her just natural light. And in her basking spot, oh you can't see it, the thermometer says 103.8. You gonna go eat? No, she says. She doesn't like being watched when she eats either, but by the looks of it, at least not her salad. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's funny because this morning when I woke her up, she finally came down and she was over here and she was staring out and I looked over and she had her beard out and I'm like, what are you all upset about? Because usually when they have their beard out, it's when they're like annoyed or something. You're on the loose. And then I started, I came up to her and started talking to her and her beard went away. So I don't know. I guess she likes being talked to. They're fast when they want to be. I don't think I ever made a video on Charlie on my channel. I know Pat has some videos on his channel, so I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And I know he has a new video to put up too, so I'll bug him about that to put it up. And there's some pictures on my Facebook with her. So, I don't know if we're going to be putting anything else in her tank. Because at her size, I don't think she needs like a hide or anything. I don't know. That's up to Pat. Because I know babies can like need hides and stuff. But I don't think she's ever had one, so I don't think she cares. She's only had those two logs. The rock is ours that um, Pat had, and he put it under it to make it better for her, because she was living in a 29 gallon, which is actually really small. If you remember, that's what I had my gerbils in. So, that's what she was living in for like, basically her whole life. Because the previous owner, which is funny, it was ended up being a co-worker that, from Pat, he used to work with the guy when Pat used to work in produce. Because he saw an ad on Kijiji for her, and messaged him, and then figured out it was his, a worker, which is kind of funny, but yeah, she was always on sand. Well, I don't know, always, I don't know if she was as a baby. If she was, then she was lucky that she didn't get impacted and have problems. But um, she came to us in a 29 gallon uh, with these two lights. But we upgraded the bulbs to bigger bulbs, and like, we do have a night bulb because I worry about this room getting too cold at night for her. So I have a I'll show you this it's a purple light, it's 75 watts. Night glue. And because her bulb, her heating bulb is 150 watts. It's the highest that the, uh, whatever you call it, can hold all of the wattage. I can't remember the wattage of this one. This one doesn't, this one, like I said, this one's not hot. It's a little warm just because it's light, but that's just natural light so she can get, uh, what is it? 
your D vitamins that you need. Yeah. But that's the her heat belt. We had a 100 watt one, but it wasn't doing it. It wasn't bringing up her temp properly, so. I said, we have to get a bigger one, so we got the 150 watts. She doesn't eat crickets. Um, supposedly, she never has, which is okay, because um, I don't like the idea of having like, crickets in the house and stuff like that. I'd rather have worms. But apparently, she never really liked crickets. And the problem with the crickets is you have to like load them up anyways with um, gut load and stuff like that with vitamins, because they're not really nutritious. So we feed her super worms every second day. She gets a salad every day, whether she eats it or not. That's up to her. Um, she gets superworms every second day, she gets, um, silkworms every week, because that is, uh, supposedly it's like a natural painkiller and stuff, like it's really good for them to have, good for the joints and stuff. Um, she has had hornworms occasionally, I think she just had some last week, that bought some, so she gets a mixture of that type of stuff. And because she's an adult, she doesn't need that type of stuff every day, because we'll get, you know, well, that's the argument, people will be like, oh, you know, you have to feed crickets, and no, you don't. She's four years old, she's fine. Her spine is straight, she's not overweight, she's not underweight. If she chooses not to eat crickets, we can't force her now, can we? The problem with feeding just worms and not crickets is um, they say that they can be overweight, but she's not overweight, so I think it depends on how you do it. And at her age, you don't have to feed live food every day. I think you do with babies. Babies are tricky. So it's kind of better to actually just like adopt, like or find a place find someone who, you know, like Kijiji or Craigslist who doesn't want an adult anymore. It's a little easier to take care of. They live for a long time. Like, she's four, but now you can't remember. I think they can live, like, 20, maybe longer. So. And I think females can live together, if you are interested in that. But it's, like, most animals, it has to come from, like, it has to be, like, a sister. If you got them as babies or... If, the person you're getting them from had them as babies. Like, it's hard to introduce another bearded dragon to a bearded dragon. They could fight. And if they fight, they could... One of them can die. So, yeah. Because I said that. It's supposed to be with a tank this big. Oh, what are you doing? I don't even have the flash on, so it's not like I'm... Poking her and, you know... Poking interest at her. She just knows that we're looking at her. I turned the flash off because her tank has lights. So, yeah, because with a tank this size, um, you could definitely have two in here. But, um, the minimum is a 40-yard breeder, so she was, the 20-yard was too small for her. It can be bad on their backs, because they don't have room to be straight like this. So now she has lots of room. This tank is much wider, so it's definitely longer. Because, like I said, the 29-gallon is the same dimensions of this 29 long, but taller. So she basically was living in something like this. But taller. Height doesn't really matter with an animal like this. So aren't you a lucky duck? You get all this room now. You probably won't use it, but whatever. Go over there. Let's get... Go over there. Go eat. I want to get a bigger food bowl, but I don't know. I don't think Pat cares. I want to get a video of her eating her bugs, too. I think there's already a video on Pat's channel, though. Whatever, because I feed her a lot. I usually am the one that feeds her her super worms. Um, and Packet feed her the other ones because they're usually trickier. So yeah, I think this video is long enough. Um, the sand's not even that deep, to be honest. And what you do with it is um, you buy a fine fishnet. Like a really fine fishnet. Usually it's black, like our fish store sells two different ones. One's black and one's like blue or green. The black one is the fine one. What are you doing? You're not coming out. I'm not picking you up. Last time she like tried to climb up my arm and freaked me out. So yeah, this is like the fine fish net. So basically it's like a layer box. And you just sift through the sand and pick up whatever you pick up. And then you could do deep cleans where you remove most of the sand and replace it. We just got pretty black sand because I, you know, I think it's nicer looking and it brings her out. The sand she was on before was like a red color and it was kind of ugly. It didn't show you off very well. So you're going to hide in your corner? I think you're getting a bath tonight. I don't know.
Oh, and another thing is the reason if you're going to ask why she doesn't have water, um, they don't need water bowls. Usually they just soil their water bowls. So what you do is you make sure their veg is very wet. And if it dries out, we spray it. And then you can do weekly baths where they sit in the bath and they soak up the water through their skin because it is a desert lizard. They don't need a water source per se, not like other animals where they have to have like a bottle of water, a water bowl. You know, she doesn't need that. You can also, she also gets sprayed down. We have Pat's spray her and he sprays her and they get water that way, uncon unconventionally, through their skin. Yeah, yeah, you do. Stick out your tongue. And we also have, obviously, calcium, calcium plus D3 that we put on her arms when she eats them. So she gets her calcium, because that's what you have to worry about the most, is calcium for the bones. So that's just a quick rundown on the bearded dragon that I live with. I know it's not technically my pet, but, like, I'm, she's right here. I do things for her, too, so, as I know people think uh, lizards are interesting. So thanks for watching, and check out Pat's channel, and bye-bye.